Hello everybody. I know a lot of you out there have told me I need to start doing videos again, so I'm going to start here. And I had a lot of requests to have you uh, take a look at my Hobie Pro Angler 14. So I'm going to give a general overview of my PA 14. And if you want more in-depth detail on different items I have on there, just put some comments below and just let me know what video you want to see next. I believe I'm going to do pretty much everything on the Hobie that I have such far. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do everything I have on the Hobie so far, but just let me know which items you want to see first. All right, so we're going to start on looking at the Hobie, and here we go. All right, everybody, here's a general, just general rundown. I'll just take a general overview of the whole thing, and then I'll start doing individual items as they go along. I'll start from the bow head to the stern and let you know anything that is interesting. If not, like I said, just let me know what you would like to see first in different videos, and then we'll just go from there. Uh, I recently got this catch cooler. I haven't even installed it yet. Really awesome item. It has an inside bladder, outside cooler section. I'm going to actually put some pad eyes and attach it right to the lid. It doesn't take up much room. Uh, mainly, I'm going to use it for uh, snapper and uh, trout, stuff like that. I don't actually eat fish, but my family loves them. I, uh, I have a beautiful wife and two daughters. They love fish, so I like to keep some for, uh, for them. Uh, I do have the Hobie anchor trolley. I don't use it all that often. I do have a anchor that I can use with that, but I don't use it that often because I do have the uh, power pole micro anchor. I absolutely love that. It is absolutely amazing. I did get the battery pack for it. It does make it a lot easier to use instead of having to run extra wiring. I don't like to run a lot of extra wiring. It just clutters things up for me. There's certain things like the depth finder, which I did have to run wiring for just because of the transducer. I do have the uh, Lowrance Elite 7 Chirp. So the wiring is down inside there. But I did make my own battery pack. Like I said, any of these items that you want to see more in depth, I will show you how I did it. But I did make my own, own battery pack. Makes it last a lot longer than Hobie's battery. And I did put it in a waterproof case. And so it, it works very well, lasts a long time. I have a cast knife that I always carry with me, a little two and a half gallon bucket. Pretty perfect sits right there just stays right out of the way I don't use the rod holders there because I do have I did buy the H rail H rail rod holders I have one there one there and I have the H crate which I could hold four more rods I a lot of times I do bring six rods with me but it's not that often I'll mainly use two to three rods at a time that I bring with me I do have the H crate bin it's really awesome uh, it holds a lot of extra stuff, just a little little extra place to put storage things quickly. I just use that. Basically, I'll use it for lures as I'm throughout the day just to throw inside there so I don't put it away with my regular tackle so I can rinse them out at the end of the day. I literally use it just to throw crap in that I need to rinse off by the end of the day. And then I have, instead of the thing that comes out, the track uh, organizer, I bought the bin that goes inside. It's a, it's a good place to keep like your fish grips and stuff like that. I uh, And snips, I keep everything in there that's just out of the way and leader. Just makes it really easy to just get to your general tackle right there at the side. I just recently also put on tackle webs on the side. I have nothing in them yet, but I have them on both sides of the seat. And obviously the cup holder that comes with it. So another thing I just put on is the landing gear. Landing gear is amazing by Boondocks. I read a lot of good things about it. I've heard a lot of good things. I haven't even yet to try that yet. I'm just getting really hardcore back into fishing again. And like I said, I'm going to start doing my videos on a regular basis again. So please subscribe. This isn't going to be my only video. I do a lot of freshwater and saltwater. Saltwater is my favorite, but can't always get out there in the water like today. It's just horribly, horribly windy. I couldn't even do a video to uh, couldn't even do a video out in the water today, so I figured I'd just take some time and do a video of the 
kayak since a lot of people ask about it. I do have a park and pole. Park and poles are great. I do carry my uh, one half of my paddle with me. I don't like using the paddle a lot. I actually use my park and pole as a push push pole to get into deeper water when I need to go. It, it actually has been, I didn't realize how much I would love the park and pole. It is absolutely amazing. And uh, these rod holders are absolutely amazing too. It's worth the, the money for them. I didn't think so. I thought it would be a little overkill on price wise, but I think they're, they're absolutely amazing. Another thing I did is I built myself a, a uh, live well and it works great. Again, I made another uh, waterproof box here for my battery packs and it works very well. I put a waterproof switch on it. Uh, if you want more details about that, again, any of these items you want more details about, please let me know. And I do have this uh, inflatable life jacket and I do have a uh, uh, floating waterproof uh, submersible radio. This is, I believe, is a must have, especially when you're fishing offshore. I don't do a lot of offshore, but even in the backwaters, you can get lost because that will get you there. Don't always get you home if it dies for some reason. I had the battery die on me one day because I forgot to charge it. So definitely make sure you keep safe. And I do have an umbrella. People make fun of me, but as I'm out there and everybody's saying how hot they are, this thing is absolutely amazing. It covers you up super adjustable it has different joints here where you can move it in different directions stays completely out of my way keeps me completely out of the sun i am in naples florida so it gets plenty hot here so i don't use it all the time but it does come in very handy then i have my uh dip net for my live well and i have my hobie h crate which this thing is amazing i did add extra cables across the top to hold items down inside. This isn't the same tackle, I use it all the time, but I keep smaller boxes that stayed on inside better, but these, these are absolutely amazing to hold everything down. And again, here is my micro anchor, and I have the hog trough. This thing is amazing. I went through and I took a Sharpie and marked every single line, letter, and everything, because they're hard to see because they're not marked, but I marked everything. It makes it a lot easier out there so you don't have to squint or try to figure out what's going on. Again, if there's anything else you want to know about, please let me know. Oh, and this is the trailer. This is a Harbor Freight trailer. It's a foldable trailer. I made it so it doesn't fold anymore, but I have it set up strictly for the Hobie. Works really well. I'm so happy with it. I was literally car topping this thing on top of my Honda Pilot and I decided to give that up because it was such a pain in the neck. When you want to go fishing all the time, you don't want to have to sit there and car top this thing on a regular basis. So please let me know if there's anything else you want to know about, if there's anything else I, I missed out on, if there's any details you want, please let me know. Again, thank you for watching my video. I have a bunch of new videos coming up. I do a lot of freshwater, saltwater from the shore and from kayak. I do boat fishing, not that often, but I do go boat fishing. I just love kayak fishing, so that's where I'm mainly going to be at. Again, make sure you subscribe to some serious saltwater TV. Uh, you'll really enjoy. I'm going to have a bunch of videos, like I said. It's going to be a really good time. I, I enjoy fishing so much, and I hope you can enjoy it along with me. Thank you. Have a great day.